It's shocking to realize that beneath the silence of Northern California's peaks, a hidden force is swelling, and we still don't know what it means for the future. Volcano danger list, the USGS now lists Mount Shasta and Mount Lassen as high eruption threats. In the heart of Northern California, where expansive forests blanket rolling hills and snow-capped peaks preside over rugged land, an ancient force simmers beneath the earth. This is the Lassen Volcanic Region, a landscape both captivating and unpredictable, a place defined by boiling springs, steaming fumaroles, and stark lava flows that serve as constant reminders of our planet's restless interior. Among these wonders, one volcano stands above the rest, Lassen Peak, its silhouette shaped over eons by the competing forces of fire and ice. At first glance, Lassen Peak is a model of serenity. Its granite slopes painted with wildflowers in summer and buried deep in snow in winter's fullness. But beneath this calm facade, restlessness lingers. Geologists recognize signs, subtle yet unmistakable. The inflation of lava domes is a process they watch carefully, telling of geological tension and the immense power slowly building under the Earth's crust. Lava dome inflation is more than a technical term. It's a quiet but profound signal from a volcano. Though changes in the landscape may be mere centimeters each year, over centuries, they write the story of a region that's alternately explosive and still, turbulent and tranquil. What secrets does the Lassen volcanic region hold? And what does the slow inflation of its lava domes portend for this enigmatic landscape shaped by both destruction and rebirth? Join us as we journey into the geologic mysteries of the Lassen volcanic region, exploring the signs of inflation beneath the sleeping giant. What can the inflation of its lava domes reveal about the future of California's wild north? Lava domes with their steep, rounded sides and imposing shapes differ starkly from the sprawling calderas or bubbling lava lakes most people associate with volcanoes. These dramatic landforms form in a specific set of conditions, ones that the Lassen region exemplifies. How does a lava dome take shape and why does its inflation matter? Lava domes emerge when thick, silica-rich lava oozes slowly out of a volcanic vent. Unlike fluid basaltic lavas, like those in Hawaii, this lava is so viscous that it piles up over the vent instead of flowing far, gradually building steep, prominent mounds. The result is a dramatic rock extrusion, curving upward above the landscape like a geological blister forged in slow motion. Lassen Peak is one of the preeminent examples. At 10,457 feet, it dominates its surroundings. The slopes of the peak, bold and angular, were built not by sudden bursts, but by millennia of incremental lava upwelling. Scientists estimate the massive lava dome that forms Lassen Peak was constructed about 25,000 years ago, a relatively recent development in geologic terms. But the life of a lava dome doesn't end when the eruptions that build it cease. Even when hardened, the dome continues to change as new magma intrudes, gases accumulate, and interior pressures mount. This ongoing intrusion can lead to subtle, gradual inflation, often just a few centimeters per year. These tiny bulges are of great interest to volcanologists. They suggest the internal magmatic system remains active. This quiet inflation isn't always gentle. Platform shifts, cracking soils, and intensified thermal activity can accompany it. Each change is scrutinized because the slow rise of a lava dome can preface more dramatic events. For scientists, these changes are like notes in a long, complex score hinting that the volcano is still alive and must be watched. So, what is the deeper story behind any growing domes in the Lassen Volcanic Center? Could recorded inflation be a harbinger of future activity? To understand Lassen's present, we must look to its past, a saga spanning tens of thousands of years. 
Lassen Peak itself is a product of relentless earth processes, fire, ash, molten magma, and the inexorable passage of time. Its formation crowned a long period of volcanic events, each adding new layers to its rising bulk. Prominent though it is, Lassen Peak is not alone. The Lassen Volcanic Center encompasses a broad swath of geologically active terrain, marked by multiple volcanic cones, domes, and hydrothermal areas such as Bumpass Hell. The record of eruptions stretches far back, with volcanism shaping each feature we see today. Eruptions have been both constructive and destructive, building mountains, reshaping meadows, and clearing forests. Bumpass Hell, named after early explorer Kendall Van Hook Bumpass, is a fuming basin inside Lassen Volcanic National Park that illustrates the volcanic legacy well. Here, bubbling mud pots, hissing steam vents, and simmering pools reveal just how close the volcanic forces are to the surface. Science suggests that future eruptions are inevitable, not just possible. Dr. Michael Klin, a prominent geologist in the region, has stated that it's not a matter of if the area around Lassen Volcanic Center will erupt, but when. The consensus among experts is clear. The systems here remain active, shaped by deep magmatic cycles. At present, the California Volcano Observatory, CALVO, provides vigilant monitoring. Their teams study earthquake activity, subtle ground deformation, volcanic gases, and shifts in geothermal features, tools that offer clues to this dynamic region's ongoing story. The inflation of lava domes is one marker along Lassen's long geological timeline. It's neither the first nor the last, but it is an important signpost, a reminder that the processes shaping the peak continue today and that the land story is far from over. Understanding the signs of volcanic unrest is far from straightforward. The signals can be faint, easily masked by natural variability, and interpretation requires careful observation. At Lassen and throughout California, the California Volcano Observatory keeps constant watch, not just over Lassen, but also over Mount Shasta, Medicine Lake Volcano, Clear Lake Volcanic Field, Long Valley Volcanic Region, and Coso Volcanic Field. Each monitored volcano exhibits distinct characteristics, but the basics of monitoring are consistent. Key to this task are measurements of ground deformation. Scientists employ high-precision instruments, such as continuously operating GPS receivers, tilt meters, and sometimes satellite radar, to detect minuscule changes. Such instruments are sensitive enough to register millimeter scale shifts, evidence of domes inflating or new magma gathering underground. Seismic networks play an equally vital role. Seismometers arrayed across the region record earthquake activity, often too small to be felt at the surface, but significant to scientists. The location, frequency, and depth of small earthquakes can reveal magma movement, changes in pressure, or even structural adjustments deep within the volcanic system. For now, Calvo reports that all monitored volcanoes, including those in the Lassen region, show normal background earthquake activity and deformation. Thermal and gas monitoring further round out the picture. Shifts in heat flow, changes in the chemistry of gases emitted from fumaroles, and alterations in geothermal features like hot springs can all indicate shifts within the volcanic plumbing. Where snow melts early or plants wilt unexpectedly, volcanologists may take extra notice. Of course, nature resists perfect forecasting, signals may mislead, and even the most meticulous monitoring sometimes fails to predict sudden changes. Still, each recorded tremor, every millimeter of uplift, informs hazard assessments and safety planning. In the Lassen region, the science is ever vigilant, not alarmist, but never complacent. No account of Lassen is complete without delving into its most spectacular geothermal area, Bumpass Hell. Stretching across a vivid bizarre basin inside Lassen, Volcanic National Park, this area is perhaps the most concrete, everyday sign of the forces simmering underground. Named after the 19th century explorer, 
Kendall Van Hook Bumpass, who suffered serious burns after breaking through a thin crust, the area's bubbling mud pots, roaring steam vents, and colorful mineral deposits leave a strong impression. The searing temperatures and billowing columns of vapor are not mere curiosities. They are direct evidence of the lingering heat from Lassen's magmatic system. Scientists study these hydrothermal features closely, analyzing water temperatures, flow rates, gas chemistry, and other indicators. Variations in the ratio of volcanic gases or abrupt changes in spring activity can suggest changes several kilometers underground. As the composition of gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide varies, so too may the state of underlying magma. Bumpass Hell is thus both scientific laboratory and sentinel. Shifts in temperature, flow, or gas chemistry are tracked for signs of new magma movement or increasing pressure. The region's dynamic and sometimes dangerous terrain serves as a constant reminder that Lassen's story is being written now, not just in the distant past. Beyond Bum Pass Hell, numerous springs, mud pots, and fumaroles dot Lassen Volcanic National Park. Each is a window into the geothermal energy at work, offering insight for both visitors and volcanologists. Though tranquil in places, the landscape's geothermal features serve as perpetual reminders of Lassen's living, breathing heart. Could inflation of the lava dome lead to a visible increase in geothermal activity? It is possible, but such links are not always direct. Careful monitoring is required to distinguish normal fluctuations from signs of potential unrest. Why does a lava dome inflate, and what does it mean for volcanoes like Lassen? The answer centers on the behavior of magma beneath the surface. Silica-rich magmas, like those typical at Lassen, are thick and prone to trapping gases. As magma accumulates at shallow depths, it exerts pressure upward, deforming the overlying rocks. This process can slowly push the lava dome upward and outward, a phenomenon scientists term inflation. But inflation can be irregular. Sometimes it is gradual and benign, other times it rapidly accelerates. Volcanic gases, particularly carbon dioxide and sulfur compounds, may seep through fractures, escaping quietly, or they may add to building pressure if they remain trapped beneath the dome. When pressure is sufficient, it can fracture the overlying rock, potentially setting the stage for an eruption. Inflation is therefore among the most important early warning signs recorded at volcanoes. At various dome-building volcanic centers worldwide, rapid inflation has preceded eruptions, sometimes providing years of lead time, sometimes only days. But inflation does not always mean eruption is imminent. Pressure can be relieved by minor eruptions, degassing, or even the slow cooling of magma. Sometimes, domes deflate as quietly as they once inflated. For Lassen, inflation is a noteworthy signal. The mountain's grand scale means that any significant ground deformation or sustained uplift is closely watched. Calvo's careful monitoring ensures that any anomalous activity, whether in seismicity, ground movement, or gas emissions, is noticed quickly. What is the ground telling us now? At present, scientists report only background levels of earthquake activity and ground deformation in the Lassen region. Yet the capability to detect significant inflation remains, ensuring that changes are caught early and safety plans can be enacted if an escalation occurs. The drama of an awakening volcano fires the imagination, but for those living nearby, the prospect is concrete and immediate. Volcanic soils, scenic vistas, and abundant water sources have drawn people to these landscapes for generations. Towns and agricultural communities, as well as countless visitors, are woven into the natural fabric of the Lassen region. This long relationship brings both rewards and risks. The serenity of forests and meadows, recreational opportunities, and geothermal features all coexist with the reality of potentially hazardous volcanic activity. Hazard assessments have made the outlook plain. A future eruption in the Lassen Volcanic Center is considered certain by experts, though the timing is unknown. As Dr. Michael Klin and other geologists have stated, it is not 
if, but when. Hazards could include lava flows, pyroclastic surges, ashfall, landslides, and the emission of volcanic gases. Even the inflation alone, by gradually deforming the ground, can impact infrastructure and ecosystems. Vigilant monitoring by CalVO, along with the work of emergency managers, ensures planning and preparation are in place. Observation networks, regular drills, and public education campaigns all form part of a system designed to minimize risk. Though normal background levels currently persist, readiness is constant. The region's importance extends beyond local communities. Volcanic unrest could affect air travel, water supply, and agriculture. Ash clouds may travel great distances, and water resources are tied to the volcanic highlands. The Lassen Volcanic Region defies simple definition. It is a place of sharp contrasts. Ancient lava flows interspersed with lush forests, landscapes shaped by fire but softened by the passage of time. The land appears still but is never truly at rest. Every hot spring and mud pot is a reminder that profound change can begin imperceptibly, deep underground. The inflation of a lava dome is just the latest episode in a geological drama stretching back millennia. It serves as a reminder that we are witnesses to a restless, ongoing process. Science reveals much, but the deeper story is still being written. Hidden chambers, rising gases, migrating pressures, all working beneath the surface. So, we watch, we listen, and we wait to see what new secrets the Earth might reveal. Will Lassen's dome inflation continue quietly or intensify into more dramatic change? How will future generations read the lessons written in these stones, these hot springs, these shifting soils? In this land of fire and stone, only time and the restless earth will give answers. What fascinates you most about the Lassen volcanic region? Is it the silent shifts within the dome, the geothermal marvels, or the continual promise of discovery? Share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more journeys into the mysteries of our planet, because the story of Lassen and of Earth's restless giants is still unfolding.